and a radical sector of the Venezuelan opposition has decided to participate in the parliamentary elections on December 6. The decision represents a clear move by some sectors to distance themselves from US-sponsored opposition lawmaker Juan Guaido, who supports the Trump administration's interventionist policy on Venezuela and deepens the divisions among several opposition figures. Our correspondent Madeline Garcia has the story. The radical opposition that pushes Washington interests in Venezuela is in free fall like never before. Not even the political analysts critical to the government of President Nicolás Maduro endorse what they consider the worst mistake of a group that wanted to play politics. Donald Trump's experiment with Juan Guaidó clearly failed. They turned the National Assembly into what it is today, a debris of what could have been, all because they intended to overcome the government from the legislative branch, a move that the government was not going to allow, and today we are seeing the last breath of this absurd illusion that started last year with the self-proclamation of the beauty Guaido as president of the galaxy, president of the National Assembly, interim president of Venezuela, and of course, that was too eroded at its base, such an absurd politics that only survived with the support of the United States. Guaidó's last call to join him in a consultation to abstain divided the opposition bench even more. The two times presidential candidate Enrique Capriles Radonsky told Guaidó in a letter there is nothing more powerful than telling the truth and as political leaders we must put our feet on the ground and not continue feeding these fantasies. Capriles is one of the opposition figures that agreed to be part of the parliamentary elections. Here it is not about going through a process that legitimates Maduro. False. This is about what the Constitution establishes and it says that here is an election. What will we do with it? I told him. What do we do with that process? We are the ones that will lose legitimacy, as the short said. But actually, there is no alternative plan. The most radical opposition figure, Maria Corina Machado, also gave her back to Guaidó. However, and contrary to Enrique Capriles, continues to support Guaidó's U.S. invasion proposal to overthrow President Nicolás Maduro. The interim president has 120 days remaining to do what he has not done in 17 months. There is no more time for any consult. The United States immediately reacted to the disobedience of its virtual mandate in Venezuela. It seems to me that Maria Corina is calling for some kind of magical plan that will solve all the problems, that will bring out the solution. Foreigners who intervene, the tax is very difficult, but it doesn't make it easier. When the leaders of the opposition say, I don't want to do the job, I want a magical rescue. And this time, the foreign interference and scolding was not welcomed by the representatives of Washington in Venezuela's politics. You feel scolded, Maria Corina. With this, that story has said first and then Abrams. No foreign diplomat calls me. The truth is that this adventure that began in 2019 with the self-proclamation of Guaido as the alleged president has its days numbered. Trump is trapped in a failed policy. He's running out of time because the Venezuelan parliamentary elections are happening soon. The European Union seems to be distancing itself from the United States strategy after the release of 110 political prisoners who participated in violent actions in Venezuela. Trump has the urgency of the polls in which he is seeking re-election on November 3rd in the United States. And although he's trapped in a failed approach, he keeps betting on Guaido. What happens is that the United States obviously cannot say we were run, and now we have to keep him there, and watch how when he loses leverage they try to push him up again, until the electoral process ends his career. The history of a forecast death but the left deep damages in Venezuela has a deadline, January 5, 2021, with the oath of the new parliament. The radical opposition is going to disappear. The parliamentary elections are coming. A new National Assembly will be in place, and that is going to be the political system. This will be the new parties, a relationship with the government that we all expect to be legitimate. A situation in which you can make all the positions, 
But with the limits of the constitutional rule and the other things will remain for the Venezuelan political folklore, the stories of Fifi, La Sayona, or the Ball of Fire, and all those tales of Llaneros like the one in which there was a group of boys that had the world in his hands and they lost it because they didn't understand what they were dealing with. The inclusion of the radical opposition candidates just hours before the closing of the registration deepens the division between those who bet on the political solution and Guaido removes a violent agenda and opens the way to the political dialogue in the country. Madeline Garcia, Telesur, Caracas, Venezuela.